managing alerts effectively is crucial to maintaining the health and cost efficiency of your azure environment azure action groups provide a flexible and powerful way to define who gets notified and what automated actions occur when alerts are triggered hello everyone i hope you are all doing well i'm manhar and welcome back to my safety webcast in this video we will walk you through how to create and manage action groups in the azure portal so you can automate responses and keep your team informed an action group is a collection of notification preferences and actions that can be triggered by azure monitor alerts when an alert rule fires the action group is notified and it can perform multiple actions like sending emails sms messages pushing notifications to apps or invoking web hooks and automation run books in the previous video we learned the steps to configure budget and cost alerts in azure in that video the only notification option available was to send alerts to specified email accounts when thresholds were met however when configuring budget alerts at the subscription or resource group level you also have the option to use action groups to perform specific actions when a threshold is triggered in this video we will create an action group and then use it to configure budget alerts at the resource group level before we begin make sure you have an active azure subscription in the first step we need to log in to the azure portal open your preferred web browser navigate to portal.azure.com and sign in with your azure account on portal home page click on resource groups click the resource group where you want to set up the budget and cost alerts expand cost management and then click on budgets at the moment we don't have any budgets configured for this resource group click on add you can also use additional filters to have your budget monitor with more granularity as needed create a budget name and set up your billing and reset period provide a meaningful budget name for example prod nv hyphen rg monthly budget select the monthly reset period from the option define the active time period for the budget for this example we will set the active time period for the budget to 1 year from july 1 2025 to june 30 2026 now enter your budget limit for example 1000 click next since we want to use an action group with cost alerts we first need to create an action group and define the action we want it to perform to create or update action groups select manage action group at the moment we don't have any action group created at the top bar click create to create new action group choose the azure subscription to associate the action group with select or create a resource group to organize your action group this resource group will store the action group by choosing a region select where you want to store the action group if you choose global the action group service decides where to store the action group the action group is persisted in at least two regions to ensure regional resiliency it is also possible to manually select a region to store the action group the action group is on redundant select the specific region if you want to ensure that the processing of your action group is performed within a specific geographic boundary in this example i'll keep global option selected next provide a descriptive name for the action group For example, notify contributor. Display name is the friendly name that appears in notification. Click next. Under the notification section, select the desired notification type such as email, SMS, push notification, voice, or web hook and provide the necessary information for each option. Click on drop down menu. Email as a resource manager role option used to send an email to users. assigned to certain subscription level arm rules the second option is used to send these notification types to specific recipients from the drop down list select email as a resource manager role from as a resource manager role select contributor and then click okay add name like notify resource contributor click next On this page you can define a list of actions to trigger when an alert is triggered from the drop down menu select an action type 
and define the action which you want to perform. To keep this video simple, I am not covering these options in this video. I will cover this topic in a separate video when discussing Azure Monitoring. Click Next. Assign a key value pair tag to the action group to help categorize your Azure resources. Now select Review plus Create to review your settings. This step quickly checks your inputs to make sure you entered all required information. If there are issues, they are reported here. After reviewing the settings, select Create to create the action group. If your subscription is not registered to use the Microsoft Insights namespace, you will likely encounter an error stating failed to create action group. It may take a few seconds to create the action group. Please wait. The action group was created successfully. Click refresh to see the updated list. Repeat the same steps to create another action that sends a notification to the resource owner. At the top bar, click on create. Provide a descriptive name for the action group, for example, notify owner. Type the display name and click next. From the drop down list, select email as a resource manager role. From as a resource manager role, select owner and then click OK. Add name like notify resource owner. Click on review plus create. After reviewing the settings, select create to create the action group. Wait for a few seconds. It takes a few seconds to create an action group. Let's create another action to send email to billing administrator. On the top bar, click create. Choose the Azure subscription and resource group. Provide a descriptive name for the action group. For example, notify billing admin. Type the display name and click next. From the drop down list, select the second option. Select the email checkbox to send this notification to specific recipient. Enter the email address where the notification should be sent. For example, enter the billing administrator's email address. After entering the email address, click OK. Add name like send an email to billing administrator. Click on review plus create. After reviewing the settings, select create to create the action group. Wait for a few seconds. It takes a few seconds to create an action group. The action group was created successfully. Click refresh to view the updated list of action groups. We have created a total of three action groups. Let's use them while setting up budget and cost alerts at the resource group level. At the top bar, click on create budget. As covered in the last video, budgets require at least one cost threshold and a corresponding email address. The actual cost reflects the real time usage that has already been incurred while the forecasted cost is a predicted spend based on historical trends. From the drop down list, select actual type. Enter 75 to get notified when the budget reaches 75 percentage. On the action group, click the drop down menu and select the notify contributor action group from the list. This will send a notification to the resource contributor when the budget reaches the 75 percentage threshold. Again, choose actual type and enter value 90. On the action group, click the drop down menu and select the notify owner action group from the list. This will send a notification to the resource owner when the budget reaches the 90% threshold. Again, choose actual type and enter value 95. On the action group, click the drop down menu and select the notify billing administrator action group from the list. This will send an email to the billing administrator when the budget reaches the 95% threshold. Repeat the steps to set up the same actions for the forecasted cost. Now provide one or more email addresses to receive notification emails. Note that this is a separate from the actions configured in the action group. Select your preferred language for receiving the alert emails for all recipients provided above. When you are ready, click create to create an Azure budget and cost alerts using the settings you have configured. First, it will perform the validation. If validation is successful, then it will create a budget with the configured settings. The budget was created successfully. Azure will begin monitoring spending against the defined budget and notify the assigned recipients once thresholds are reached. To view or edit existing budget, click on budget name. On this page, review the settings. To edit the budget, click on edit budget. Remember, 
You cannot modify the budget details, but you can change the budget amount. Click next. Modify the alert conditions and alert recipients as needed. Once you are done, click save to apply the changes. You can use the same steps to configure budget and cost alerts at the subscription level. This concludes our video on creating and managing action groups and how to use them when setting up Azure budgets and alerts. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Microsoft Azure and other Microsoft related topics. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.